Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to be talking about flood switches. So if you're new here, don't forget to like this content here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? I help people, all kinds of people, fix their dishwashers. Today's no different. Subscribe. Thank you. <clears throat> so today, we're talking about flood switches. All right, so I've done this video, not the same one, but done something very similar in the past. Told you what a flood switch does, and I'll link that video at the very end, so watch all the way through to the very end and click that little link at the, at the end where I go through what a flood switch does and how to, how to kind of fix it, okay? Um, but today, it just dawned on me that I never really showed you what you need to fix a flood switch and actually how to do it. So that's what I'm gonna be going through today. So to get started, Here's your empty dishwasher. You've already drained it. All right, guys. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna unload your dishwasher, first of all, obviously. And the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have prop your dishwasher open like that. You're gonna see all these fancy little lights on it. Then you're gonna make your way over to the electrical panel. All right, guys. So one of the first things you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your handy dandy electrical panel you're gonna open that bad boy up you're gonna find your uh your dishwasher mine's right here you're gonna flip that bad boy off just like that all right guys so the first thing you're gonna do you're gonna unload your dishwasher first of all obviously and the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have prop your dishwasher open like that. You're gonna see all these fancy little lights on it. Then you're gonna make your way over to the electrical panel. And then, then you're gonna go back over here and you're gonna see all these nice little fancy lights. They're off. That's a good way, press a couple buttons, see, just to make sure it's not, you know, tricking you on, you know what I'm saying? And then you're gonna know for sure that your power's off on your dishwasher. But if you want to make 100% sure, it's better to be safe than sorry. So just grab your multimeter out and check the voltage on your line underneath. But that's kind of a pain. So this is kind of what I did here to check it. So that's step three. Three. You've already turned the power off. What do you do next? Okay. So if you got a model just like mine, it's empty. You're going to want to take the sprayer arm off. So you pull this bad boy up twist this little bottom piece, pull it off. Easy, easy peasy, okay? Set that to the side. Let's set this bad boy right here, okay? All right, so now what do you have? You have this little cap. You're gonna excuse this mess, all right? Because it's pretty filthy, I'm sure. All right, so it's a little bit nasty, so I'm using that in a little bit of a, a different video, all right? Pull this out, and we'll set this in my sink. Ugh. Should be setting it in the trash with as much filth as that is, okay? Then you're gonna have these two little nuts here. Unscrew those bad boys right there. Pull that guy out. Set these to the side. And then pull this little silver piece off, all right? And you're probably gonna wanna clean all this stuff too. So get you some cleaner, get you some stuff. Um, next thing, you're probably gonna have this little gray piece. Pull that bad boy out, okay? All right, let's get into it. All right, guys. So once you've got all those pieces off, all right, you can see my hands. It's really hard to record in here. Okay. <laughs> so you just got to see my hands, okay? But see all this nasty stuff down in here? You got to get it out, okay? Because you got water in there and you got some other stuff. But down in there, you've got two screws that you got to take out, okay? And there's water, but once you take that out, there's a seal in there and you pull that flood switch out, you're gonna get water all down underneath your <clears throat> your dishwasher, okay? And you got to clean it all up because that's where your electrical is, okay? So here's what you're gonna need. Bah! Paper towels, okay? So <laughs> get you some paper towels or, you know, an old filthy rag, something like that because you're not cleaning up the nicest of messes and that was all I did. Okay, and I'm not actually going to replace mine. I'm just gonna take it out and put it back in. So, cause mine don't need it, but here's all I did. I just put some paper towels in there just like that. So let's sit for a minute, okay? 
Let's let it sit for a minute. See, it's soaking up all of that water. All right. So just kind of let it do its thing just for a minute. Pull it out. You just, God, that's nasty. All right. So then do it again. Throw that bad boy in the trash. Get you some more. All right. Just kind of running around the sides, around the edges. I'm sure you're like, oh man, this guy, duh. Obviously I would do that with paper towels or a towel. Why is this guy wasting my time? Well, you know, some people, they need some help, you know? Got some ladies on here, you really need some help. And they don't have the money to pay an expensive repairman. So I'm just trying to do y'all a favor. Hope this helps somebody. Did y'all subscribe yet? Appreciate it if you did, thank you. Did you like it? Did you like the video? I hope so. Thank you. All right, pull this out. Okay, so, yep, that's filthy, but that's, uh, ew. <laughs> what have I been running in my dishwasher? Uh, that's good enough, right? So, here we go. So, let's see if we can find them. Let me get, uh, whew, quarter inch nut driver. That's what you're gonna need. I'll put a link to all the stuff in the description below. So you're definitely gonna need a quarter inch nut driver. So far, that's really the only tool other than paper towels. You probably got those around your house. Uh, so that's what you're gonna need. So you're just gonna find that little blasted screw. One is right here, okay? Take your quarter inch nut driver, put it on there. Get that guy loose. All right, one thing, okay? So this is a little tiny screw. It's not very big. It's pretty small. Okay. It goes into plastic. Be careful with that. But here's the thing on this side right here, there's a hole. And on this, well, not over here, but on this side, there's a hole. You might want to do yourself a favor. Just take a little paper towel and maybe once you got that one screw out or before, actually probably before, just kind of set something in there or put you a piece of duct tape in there because what you don't want is that little screw to fall down in that hole trust me i did it it wasn't very fun okay i had to take the old dishwasher out and it was just kind of a pain in the butt so you don't want to do that okay heed my advice get a magnet or something but so anyway so there's number one number two is right here okay so one's on this side right here on this side straight down one's on the other side so if you're looking at the dishwasher like this basically they line up front to back right so one's here the other one's right there so oh. and of course mine's got so much gunk built up in there that it's kind of hard to take out. Two. And this is magnetic. So I'll see if I can find you guys a magnetic one that you can use. Um, so that screw's almost out. And it's not hard. I probably should have cleaned it out just a little bit better, but you know, I didn't. All right. For whatever reason, that one's not picking up. Must be aluminum. Just kidding. All right. So, you got two screws out. Okay, so now you're done there. So now pull this paper towel out because you don't want to get stuck down in there. All right. Now you're going to pull this piece out carefully. It's filthy, right? You want to clean it out. Just clean it out the best that you can. Um, I'm just going to clean it off in my sink. Spray it off with a sprayer or something. Um, I'm really just looking to get the big stuff off of it. Uh, you might want to soak it overnight with vinegar or some type of solution, maybe some bleach to clean any bacteria. Uh, 
basically I just had some stuff in there that built up some rust. Um, anyway, so now once you've done that, go back to your paper towels, okay? Cause you still got some more water. See all that water down in there? See that? If you don't get that out, guess where it's going? Ah, oh, you guessed it, straight down into your <laughs> floor. So just like before, let's get the rest of that water out before we break that seal, okay? All right, get some more, some more. I really hope this is helping somebody. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, hit that for me, please. Thank you guys. Tap the bell, don't forget to do that too. Hit the like button, all right, while we soak up all this water. Okay, all right, see, it's full again. Um, and that's, that's good enough right there. That, that's good enough. So, all right, so now here's what you do. You're done, you, you, you've taken your screws out of this thing, the only thing left, you're gonna pull this ever so gently and there's what you're gonna have. Okay, let me make sure on the camera that you guys can see this. All right, that is the wiring harness. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna take, there's a little tab right there, okay? You're just gonna take it. Uh, probably best to get a little tiny screwdriver. Let me grab a screwdriver. Um, I'm just gonna see if this will work. Get this little nut off of a. Yeah, see, just barely. That's all it is, right there. But whatever you do, don't let this go. Okay. Hear that? You, there's a ball inside of here, and that's what floats. So that's what lets the dishwasher and the control board know. There's water in there, but inside of this, there's also a thermostat unit, okay? And there's the seal that keeps the water and all that gunk from going out into your floor. Right down there, see that guy? That's your floor. Right underneath there is your floor. So if you let all that water out, guess where it's going? Yeah, you guessed it, straight to your floor, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this bad boy back together, okay? Because this one is, um, this is a unit I just replaced a little less than a year ago, so I really don't need to uh, replace it, but it goes in the same way. Um, there is a little a little notch, um, but I, I don't remember it really mattering which, which way it was supposed to go, but point it towards the front of the dishwasher, that's the way it came out, okay? So just do the reverse now. So you got that bad boy in there, so then take this, boop, okay? Goes in there, oh man, I put it in there wrong. I did it again. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> All right, so line it up with this, this piece in there. All right, take your handy dandy magnetic bit. Okay, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting, guys? All right, oh, you guessed it. You guessed it. You forgot to plug the hole, All right? So we're gonna plug this hole. Otherwise, we could have problems. And trust me, I'm not pulling this thing out again tonight. I'm not, not doing that again. All right, so now, see, see? That's exactly what happens. The thing falls and it goes straight into that hole. So guess what would've happened if I didn't put that paper towel in there? Oh, that would've been a catastrophe. So, all right, so you probably don't have very good lighting here, but I'm gonna move my hand out. Oh, heard that, so then just screw that bad boy in there, like so, not as tight. You're gonna wanna like halfway tighten one side and then halfway tighten the other, oh shoot. Halfway tighten the other side, okay? All right. Come on now. I'm supposed to help people, not mess it up myself. <laughs> oh man, it's good having fun, all right? So now we get the other side here, maybe. Uh, in there. So I'm just gonna line it up. <clears throat> ah, see? <clears throat> Don't use this one. This is terrible. Okay, so now so my screw fell down in there. <laughs> so Pull this out, pull that out, lift this a little bit, pull that guy. Now let's put this guy 
Now, set this one back in there. Okay. So, now I think I remember what I did last time. So, I think what I did was set this in there. Just like so. Yeah, just like that. So put your screws in there before you set that gray piece down in there. And then tighten a little bit. And let's see. I'm sure the lighting is probably not, not, not the best, guys. But uh, bear with me. So, so what you're doing here is you're tightening these screws down to push that gray piece all the way in you don't want to get it super tight because it is plastic um, but you want to tighten a little bit on one side a little bit on the other side until they're snug all right so now you got that done put your gray piece on there put your filthy piece back on here all right put this back on okay so just to talk a little bit about what this flood switch does and why it's helped a lot of people Again, the flood switch part itself, this one will be in the comments, in the comment and in the description. Um, what this does, on these model dishwashers, not, not some of the newer ones, but this model, it, um, it actually controls a uh, thermostat unit. And that's what that's what keeps your dishwasher um, hot, making steam, doing things like that. Normally there's a thermostat, and there is, but it's in the, the flood switch, all right? So what's next, guys? Nah, that's right, you gotta put power back on it, okay? And then you gotta test it. Test your, your cheap part. I think, I don't know the exact price, but they average between 25 and 35 to $40 for this flood switch at least on Amazon. That's the current price, it may fluctuate. Um, but check it out, check this, um, check the flood switch out. It's pretty easy to replace. You could probably do it yourself with absolutely no experience. Just follow these quick and easy steps in about, I mean, I'm gonna say like 20 minutes tops. Okay, 20 minutes tops if you've never even done it before. It's, it's pretty simple, just step-by-step -step guide. Pretty easy to replace. All right, so follow me over to step number, I don't know, 853. Un momento. All right, guys, step number 854. Boom, turn your dishwasher back on. And step number 855 and 856. Make sure you got power, make sure it works. Hit that bad boy. Close it and make sure it turns on. Then check for steam, guys. Check for steam, okay? All right, guys, if you like this video, <laughs> hit that subscribe button for me, okay? Hit that like button for me, tap that bell, okay? I got a couple complaints about a couple videos that I did where... <laughs> Turn this off, okay? Oh man, spray me with water, okay? Anyway, I got a couple complaints because I was putting some music in some of the videos. That was really just to kind of get a good atmosphere for a video. I'm not going to do that one in this one. Let me know what you think, okay? If it helps you out, if you don't like it, if you want music, let me know, okay? Really just a couple people saying that they didn't like it. And I kind of understand because you can't really understand what I'm saying. You can really just hear the music and it's kind of on the same level. Partly and <laughs> mostly in part because I'm terrible at video editing. Um, anyway, let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button right there in the video at the end of this and hit, click one of those other videos for me. I've got a couple other videos for dishwashers, kind of like this one, different models, different, different, uh, I guess, sub models. What actually fixes those? So I go into like the top four fixes. Some of them are pretty easy. Some of them help a lot of people and they're cheap, okay? Here's a hint. You probably already have it in your house. Watch the rest of those videos for number two, three, and four. All right. So I hope this video helps you. If you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me. And if you want to buy a flood switch, I've got a link to it in the description below. We've got a link to all the other stuff. 
that I think will help clean your dishwasher out, keep it sanitized, and keep it running optimal and efficiently, okay? And I'll have a link to tools like this. Now this one works, I think it was just the screw had been kind of demagnetized. Uh, Okay, maybe the screw's not demagnetized. Maybe this bad boy's demagnetized because it has a magnet in it. But I think this one's just old, so I'll put a link to one that's good in there. That way that will helpfully help you. Um, but follow these instructions step by step. It should really help your dishwasher fixing game. And if it does, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. I hope you have a blessed day. And if there's anything I can do to help, Put it in the comment section below. I'll do my best. Peace out. What am I doing? Thank you.